Match number two, Kathy Lightfoot, a winner in that first one with a 226 over Diana Combs, 121. Starts off with a cave-in. Eddie, I would say this has to be her day. I would say that's the way she started the first game. Mm-hmm. Here's the tough qualifier, Sam. One of the veterans of our Queen of Bowling, Vi McKinney. Vi says, I'm going to come in the back door with this one. Well, she's a member of that power pack Hootapole team, Don Wickersham's outfit. Yeah, he's sitting right down there, all smiles. And next week, we get another one of their bowlers, Madeline Kivett. It was just a matter of time before Madeline made it. Uh, I imagine so. She's getting sharp. Ooh. Not quite enough to finish with that five out of there. Uh, Vi threw that ball real nice. I thought it would blow the rack. Uh, just got it inside just a little bit. Yeah, Eddie, next week, Madeline Kivett with her 645, Regina Pollard, 644, and Jan Linger, we had her on before, 638. Nobody misses this one. Right, Sam? Oh, certainly. Well, here's a gal that has impressed yours truly, Sam, and also Eddie. And Eddie knows a bowler by just one ball he or she can roll. And she, she keeps the ball in the area, Ed. Yes, she does. <laughs> Doesn't she, though? Down to my my career, I always kept an eye on that six pin, and she keeps that, for some reason or other, and I don't know what it is, she keeps that six pin low, and it's doing a number on that ten. Well, she's got a super roll, Ed, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. She may be a toughie today. She's there again. Oh, wow. Mm. Boy, that was there. Well, I'll tell you, she's figured out this shot here, uh, you know, the, the area to be in, because she's standing right dead center and rolling look, from the angle we're at. looks like she's rolling it straight up about seven or eight. Yeah. Now let's see what she's learned on shooting corner pins. Uh-uh, it's gone. And you don't want to open the door with this girl right here. Vi McKinney. Yes, yeah, she's a tough competitor, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Vi has been out here before, and you give her a chance, she'll jump on it. Somehow. Yeah. Our score marker is Pam Surrey, sitting right next to Maureen Snodgrass. And Pam was a runner up the standby. You got your old buddy over here to your left, I see. Mario De Felice, Edward. Oh, yes. Uh, He's been giving you the needle, too, hasn't he? Yes, he uh, gave me the hook em horn sign. <laughs> Jump him around. I tell you, Vi looks good this year, doesn't she? Rolling the ball good. I was talking to Vi. Uh, she's busy working out at uh, Montgomery Bowl, and... Uh, She's been rolling real well, real well this year. Uh, I watched her bowl out at uh, Mount Healthy again, and she was getting to the line real solid, as you can see right here. Cross lane. And, uh, Sam, I have her three on top. Right, 60 to 57 in the third. But this fellow, this fellow, this girl right here, this... Kathy Lightfoot has a lot of strikes in that ball of hers. You see what I mean? You know, it's hard to believe that poor little 19-year-old Diana Combs didn't have a strike on her. I, I, I knew it before we even started when she was sitting down there, as I said, Eddie, and she was so nervous. She'll be back, though. She's just a young young lady, uh, just, uh, just out of the juniors, and she'll be here again. Uh, Kathy, you're living them right today. Well, I tell you, you, you stay up on the top of that head pin somewhere and anything's liable to happen. You're dangerous. I remember my old baseball coach told me, keep swinging and something's liable to happen. As long as you swing, you're dangerous. That's right. There's Vi hammering him in there. 
And uh, my father always told me when I was a kid playing baseball, you're never a threat with a bat on your shoulder. That's for sure. That's the hit I thought Vi was going to sweep over here on, on the left because she does throw a dynamite ball. Yeah, she'll make the move here, I imagine, a little bit more than right. Yep. Ooh, yeah. How about that one? I think I did say something about the sideboards being lively here. That was a lively one. Well, that was a man in motion, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Boy, that thing carried off that sideboard and went over and took that 10. That was a beautiful block. There's a weird setup. And I think she just got a little anxious and wanted to fit that one and just pulled it right up in there. I wouldn't sell her short not bringing this back with her. Four, seven, nine. She's got some room to work down there with that four pin. Just tick it on the left side. Cross alley at it. What do you got, about 112, uh, 112 Sam? 112 and a sixth. Guy's got 80 with a double up. Kathy, she uh, did her junior bowling over at Bellwood. And if you notice, I keep bringing up the juniors. Uh, that's what's happening with the bowling program around town is that all these young ladies that you see are all products of the junior league. And, of course, we're going to have the men soon. And uh, talking to Dottie Wagner, she's been coaching for 23 years. And Flo down here has been coaching here for 22. And they have all brought some young stars like Ciccone and uh, a lot the, of them. Yeah. A lot of them now. It is new faces coming up each and every day. Well, this is known as the little baby split for Vi, and it should be easy as it's going to her side. Sam used to shoot this one blindfolded on his exhibition tour. Is that right? Mm, didn't you? I didn't leave them many things like that. Eddie might have left some of them, but I don't leave like two. <laughs> the two seven. She's That's right. right up the back. Well, she's up by 16 in the uh, sixth frame, 128 to 112. Stumps lanes. That's where we are today. I will have the champ of champs here in the first week of June here. Mental bowl here. Men will be over at Glenn Smith's and Harrison Bowl and uh, Shots. Oh, there was an exploding ball, Eddie. Yeah, I've been watching Vi. Uh, she has about a five-board drift. You know, it's different than what I anticipated. Uh, well, she used to kind of ricochet him off of her ankle once in mm -hmm. a while, Eddie. That strike there could have made it mighty interesting, That's you know. That's true. Well, the ladies' champs and champs will be at Kingpin Lanes this year. And that King is right around the corner. January the 9th we start. Right over the hill here at Western Bowl. Yeah, we're right in the area of quite a few bowling lanes. Ooh, Kathy. As Sam says... I knew she had it when it went down. <laughs> Unquote. <laughs> Nobody frightened but the spectators. That's right. Well, this is the one she needs it, Eddie, the ninth frame, if she wants to pose a threat. It's going to be high. Yep, you're right. Well, right now, things look pretty good for Vi. She can double up there in that ninth frame, uh, Sam. She can almost put it away. That's true. That'd be lights out. She's in a heap of trouble there. There it is. That could have been the coup de gras. Well, that'll give uh, by the go power. Watch this now. She's rubbing her hands in that rosin bag down there. Peers in, takes the sign. <laughs> She's going to pump one in there right now. Yeah, sure. She says, I might as well just put all the pressure on it right here and bang it home. Yeah, she's got a, not what I call an easy setup down there. Two, four, eight. 
Vi is uh, playing a little deeper than uh, Kathy, and uh, I think she just that time just didn't hit that ball at the pro you know when she got at the bottom of her swing, and you have to do that. I think she's a little fast on her feet that mm -hmm. time also. I wanted to get up there and couldn't wait to try to solidify this match. That's the way to make it. She can get 218 if she goes out. Tenth frame. Well, the best Kathy can get be 189 if she strikes out. Vi's got more than that already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one belongs to Vi McKinney. It'll be Vi and Pam. Boy, that, that ball exploded. Boy, she likes this land over here, Ed. Yeah, th this is a nice pair, three and four. Uh, on our Thursday night Laker, it gives up the uh, best scores for what reason, I don't know. But uh, you always have pet pairs in every house that you bowl in, and Sam will attest to that down to the years. There's always been one pair. Well, we used to bowl here in the Traveling. We bowl this pair every time we was here. 208 with a conversion. Well, my house, uh, my two lanes that I scored on good here were seven and eight. Seven and eight? Mm-hmm. Well, Bob uh, Zugelder, he's done a fine job since he's taken over. Uh, he's put a lot, of, a lot of work into this house, as you can look around and see the uh, improvements. There she is, the winner, the veteran of TV bowling, Vi McKinney. She'll be going against Pam. Vi wants that 275 just as much as Pam and Christmas approaching. But all credit in the world goes to this young lady, whom you're going to hear a lot of. And now I know Eddie's going to verify that, and so will Sam. And years to come, this Kathy Lightfoot. She's a good looking bowler. I was just looking down here, Vi only lost two pins in count the whole way through. Mm hmm. This young lady's going to be quite a bowler. For 179 with a fill. Yeah, and she had two open frames, so three open frames. So there's her 200 right there. That's yeah. true. One seven nine. Make that one seven eight. But the winner with a 208 is Vi McKinney. It'll be Vi and Pam's years for all the marbles right after this. Ah.